Welcome to Electro Online. The second part to our problem now involves bringing the flywheel back up to speed. Notice that the original omega, the angular velocity was 10 pi radians per second, and the final angular velocity after one punch came down to 6.26 pi radians per second. Now we want to get the flywheel back up to speed, back up to 10 pi radians per second, and we only have five seconds to do it before we want to do the next punch. So then the question is, what is the power required to restore the omega back to its original in five seconds? So the way to do that is to use the same equation, the work put into the system plus the original potential energy plus the original kinetic energy is equal to potential energy final plus kinetic energy final plus any energy lost in the process. Now here, we're not doing any punching or anything like that, so we don't have any lost energy, but we do have work input to the system because we're trying to bring it back up to its original omega. So we do have any work put in, plus there's zero initial potential energy, plus there is the original kinetic energy, one half, that would be I omega initial squared. Now notice for this part, omega initial is going to be equal to the 6.26 uh, radians per second. And then omega final is back to 10 pi radians per second. So now we want to restore back to the original omega that we had before. So that means that the original omega will be 6.26 radians per pi radians. I'm missing a pi here, pi radians per second. And that will be the final omega. So that equals zero for the potential energy final plus one half I omega final squared plus zero energy lost. So notice to get omega here, I'm gonna bring this over to the other side. So not omega, but uh, the work done. So the work done is equal to one half I omega final squared minus one half I omega initial squared. And then finally, since I'm not looking for work done, but I'm looking for power, I'm going to divide both sides by T because work over time is power. So this over time will be equal to power. So therefore power is equal to, I can factor out a one half I, and I'm left with an omega final squared minus omega initial squared, all divided by the time. In this case, of course, the time will be five seconds. Plugging in what I know, the power required will be equal to one half times I, and I was given to be 15 kilogram meter squared, and omega final squared, that would be back to 10 pi, so 10 pi squared minus omega initial squared, which would be 6.26 pi squared. And the whole thing divided by five seconds. So that should give me the power required. Okay, 10 times pi, we're going to square that, minus 6.626 uh, times pi, square that, and equals. So that's the difference, which is basically 600, and then we're going to multiply that times 15, divide by 2, and divide by 5, and that gives us 900 power, is equal to 900, and of course that would be watts. Watts is the standard unit for power. Now if we want to convert that to horsepower, then we can, then we can multiply that times, and I can, actually I'm out of room here, so let's come up here. So power is equal to 900 watts times 746 watts per, and actually I should take the inverse of that, so it would be one horsepower, divided by 746 watts, so that's the conversion to horsepower, so P equals, divided by 746, that gives me 1.21, 1.21 horsepower, that's the power required in the motor to bring the, the flywheel back up to speed so we can do a punch like that every five seconds, and that is how it's done.